With your sports on the man for Monday, February 4th, I'm Alex Klein. The Marquette American Legion Bantam AA hockey team is doing pretty well this year. Over the weekend, the 14 and under boys competed at the District 8 Championships at Lakeview Arena, trying to punch their ticket to the state tournament, facing Copper Country. First period, 1-0 Legion. Owen Reapy gets through two defenders and takes a wrister, but that is saved. But Jack sides there to put home the rebound. Marquette up 2-0 at 1155. A couple minutes later, Coranta enters the offensive zone and rips one. Blocker side off the post and in. What a shot by number 10. American Legion with a three spot on the Copper Country at 1433. Second period. 4-0 now for the Legion, working in the offensive zone. Jack Sides takes a shot wide, but the rebound comes back out to Drew Delis, and he puts it in. It's 5-zip for Marquette American Legion. Third period, more of the same. Pretty passing here for Marquette out of the zone. Cole Ranta, nice saucer pass to Jacob Garrow, and he snaps it far side past the catching glove of the Copper Country goalie. 6-0 American Legion, and that'll do it. The Marquette American Legion post 44, your Division 8 champions, and heading to the state tournament. I, I thought we were good. I thought we were good from start to finish. I, it was good to get going early in the game. We had a power play early in the game. We scored on it. We were able to build on that. It's probably as complete a game as we wanted from top to bottom, shift to shift was good. We had good pace during the game, and all the players were engaged, and that's a big plus for us. Uh, I thought we played great. We didn't give them much. They didn't score a goal. Uh, we had some good offense, good defense. We did what we needed to do. The Marquette American Legion Bantam Double A squad is now 45-2-2 on the season. The state tournament is set for March 8th through 10th in Port Huron. Sticking with hockey, former Michigan Tech goaltender Phoenix Copley signed a three-year, $3.3 million contract extension with the Washington Capitals. Copley has a record of 10-5-3 this season, including a seven-game unbeaten streak from November 24th through January 9th, and a 2.98 goals against average and a .903 save percentage on the year. A Husky from 2012 to 2014, Copley won 18 games with Michigan Tech, including four shutouts, two of those coming at the 2012 Great Lakes Invitational, where he was named MVP. Basketball now in Michigan Tech's Elizabeth Kelleher has earned GLIAC North Player of the Week after helping Michigan Tech to wins at Parkside and Purdue Northwest. The senior scored a season-high 21 points and had five block shots Thursday night during a 67-49 victory against the Pride. She followed that performance with 17 points and a 60-47 Tech victory at Parkside. The Tech forward converted 16 of 18 shots from the field for the week and was a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight from the floor at Purdue Northwest. She also combined for 13 rebounds and had nine block shots this past week as well. And sticking with women's basketball, one score for tonight, Gilgibbet Community College falls to UW Superior, 83 to 74. Lance's Bailey Froberg scored 33 points for the Lady Sampsons.